hello and welcome back and today's video is going to be about QNAP HD station and Plex first and foremost I want to reach out to a user called Paul Denman or Denman I do apologize if I have butchered your name there um, who sent me an inquiry just over the last few days uh, kind of resonating with a number of things I'd heard about HD station or hybrid desk station from QNAP and namely that it has ceased to officially support Plex media server which was a hell of a blow um, for those that aren't aware, HD Station is the graphical user interface from QNAP that allows users to be able to not only access their data locally and via the internet, but with the connection of a visual monitor like an HDMI monitor or TV, as well as a remote control, infrared remote control, mobile application like Q Remote, or even a keyboard and a mouse, allows you to zero, almost zero latency access the media on your NAS and do a number of cool different things. And up until recently, it arrived with support of Plex Media Server. Consequently, if you did go into the App Center on your QNAP NAS, uh, you would see loads of first and third party applications. And if you went down, you would find the app for Plex Media Server. You can install Plex, open up Plex, and access your Plex Media Server via your web browser. But a lot of you didn't want to do it that way. You wanted to access Plex Media Server via HDMI. And of course, you've already got to make sure you've set up Plex on here and again I'm using a dummy account right now but let's add a brand new library just for future reference it'll make the rest of the video a hell of a lot easier we're just going to select any old folder here we're just going to click that folder there we're going to click add library just so we've got a folder there called films but I digress a number of you don't like accessing Plex Media Server via that way and you want to use the HDMI input so you would go to HD station and install all of those applications and there aren't a lot of applications officially for HD station although there are a number of un unofficial ones but the one that used to be there Plex Media Server is now gone so today I want to show you guys how to add Plex Media Server to a QNAP NAS using hybrid desk station 4.0.6 this is going to be a short-term solution because I do believe there's going to be an official Plex app eventually uh, and it's just a question of iHybrid Desk Station now reaching this heightened version that they need Plex to come out with their own version. So the first thing you need to do is head up here to the cog. From that cog, go to the app repository right there. Repositor repository, there you go. Now click add to add a brand new app center. This isn't the only way to do it, but this is one way to do this and a bunch of other things. And once you've done it, you need to add this URL right here. I'm going to zoom it in for you guys. But that URL there is what you need. Because when you click add, you need to name the store and then add that URL in this window. And then click add. Once you've clicked add, it then adds it as an available repository as you see there. So from here, once we've got that added on screen, it will add a new button right here. And this is the unofficial app center. From here, click all apps. Now, once you've first added it for the first time, it will take a few seconds to cache a lot of the data. So it won't immediately show this screen the first time. But after this, you've now installed the unofficial app center. And this is where there's a lot of homebrew applications and custom apps. There's stuff like Amazon Music to synchronize your music channels and loads of other applications for virtualization. There's lots of gaming ones. We've got ones to do with emulation, even editing tools for editing photos, video, and more. All of these run on your NAS. You just need one, to have a powerful enough NAS to do it, and two, have the dependent account association. So in the case of a lot of these third-party migration tools, you're gonna need to have an account with those third-party clouds and migration tools. There's games as well. There's a classic June. But the real cool thing is to scroll down here and select HD Station. And this will then list only the apps that require HD Station and are installed within HD Station. There's games again. There's Lemmings or a rip-off version. You've got Tetris rip-offs. You've got MAME. And of course, if we scroll down, we have got Plex. And there are lots of of different versions of Plex. Indeed, just type the word Plex there and Plex apps will be listed. Now, there's a bunch of unofficial Plex apps. And by unofficial, 
This is when people have taken official versions of Plex and modified them to work on HD Station for now. The ones I want you two to you guys to focus on at the moment is Plex Home Theater, which again is here. Again, originally in, um, there's the installation date, and you've got the creation date too, and Plex Media Player. There's different versions of these applications, and you've got another one there. But these are the two we're going to focus on today. Both of these will give you an HDMI output, and both of them are targeted at very different users. There are, of course, other Plex applications, ones with sharing lists with friends, to connecting IPTV, and even streaming from a cloud platform via Plex. But for now, these are the ones we're going to focus on. Once you've installed them like any other application, you want to make your way to your HDMI user interface. But for the sake of configuration and first time setup, I recommend that once you've installed the HD Station application, you enable in the settings menu the ability to access remotely. This allows you to access what's being shown on the HDMI port via web browser. I don't expect you to access Plex in this way, but it does make a showing you the HDMI user interface a great deal easier. So as you can see, there is HD Station and our user interface with all the applications I've installed so far. My next video is going to be about the new version of Kodi that has been trans uh, transferred onto the QNAP platform, Kodi Matrix, that's version 19, I believe. But for now, we've got our two Plex applications installed. Now, again, you will be accessing this via HDMI, not in the user interface you're going to see here. So what you're going to see is going to be a lot more fluid than me using my web browser as a web portal via VLVNC and using OBS to record on screen. So don't be too let down by the refresh rate being a little slower than you'd like. It's just because of the way I'm recording. And also remember that you will need to have installed Plex Media Server as a regular application on your NAS and synchronized it with your account to go through a lot of the pin entry screens. So for now, I'm going to show you what I think is the lesser of the two options, Plex Home Theater. Now Plex Home Theater, when you first run it, will ask to synchronize with your existing version of Plex remotely with the Plex Cloud. I've already done that, but it will invite you to do it on screen, and it may even ask you to uh, enter a four-digit PIN to prove that it's you. Now, from here, the number of um, albums you create of films and the folders you add, there's that films one we added earlier, will be listed here. And then it will go through the different options available to you. Now, obviously, I've just created this folder. Uh, go, there's nothing in it. You can flick through different uh, configuration options, but for the most part, if you've added some of the channels that Plex do offer for you to stream uh, web episodes and stuff like that, they will appear there. And of course, you can search your library. But me personally, I'm not a huge fan of this user interface because don't get me wrong, it works. It definitely does what you need it to do. And as you add more folders, they will be added here under films. It's a very simple user interface. But for Plex, you don't come to Plex for simple. You come to Plex for the beauty of Plex. And again, you can change a lot of the options there. But for now, we're going to quit this application here and make my way into uh, what I think is the better of the two. And credit to the people that made these applications. If you want to find out more about them, just head over to the information in the App Center for each app on HD Station. I'll get that loading in the background. That application is going to be loading there. We'll come back to that in a moment. And we're going to there again. If you want to find out who made these apps, just click on the icons and you'll get lots of information about the people that made it and the people that converted it to a QNAP platform for you. So anyway, this is what you will see the screen here with Plex Media Server via that second application, what I believe to be the better one. It's our throwaway NAS compares account there at the top. And the folders and files that we create will be listed here. We can head to the home page to get more information about those web episodes and things that we can stream within Plex. And I do think it's a better graphical user interface. You can then also switch to different users if you want. So if you've got different Plex accounts on a single system, you're able to flick between them here. But what's quite cool is changing 
the user interface because the user interface we see here is not the full user interface of this version of Plex. We can flick to our folders if we so choose. There's the folder we created earlier on, but of course I've not added any media to it. Or we can change the user interface to one that's a little bit more familiar to those of you that have ever used the web browser based access or mobile applications. Using the buttons of your remote control, head over to the top right of the screen and this will appear as soon as you press up, down, left or right. And from here, you can flick to the alternative graphical user interface. And from here, this is still completely navigatable um, with a remote control or keyboard and mouse or the Wi-Fi remote control. But this is a user interface that a number of you may be a lot more familiar with but may not display as well on smaller screens so do bear that in mind but there you have our entire plex system and our folders in place as mentioned there is almost certainly going to be an official version of plex uh, on the qnap hd station platform very soon but for now this works as an excellent alternative thanks once again paul for your question and for the rest of you that have wondered about how exactly to resolve Plex on HD station in the latest version of the QNAP NAS operating system. Do let me know what you think. Click like if you've enjoyed this video. Click subscribe to learn more. And I'll see you next time.